Check this out, 3D printed 944 parts. How good are they? Are they gonna work? One of my friends printed these for me, Troncat FPV. He does a lot of drone stuff, FPV stuff. Check out his channel if you're interested in that. He's also the singer that sings that earworm in my intro. You can thank him for that. Let's check these out. These are the brackets for the sunroof. This is the original. You can see it looks pretty close, a little bit different. If you're a Porsche purist and you want exact OEM Porsche parts, this isn't the direction for you. But if you have a vehicle that's more of a driver like me, where you just like to drive the car and you're not exactly, you don't care whether the corners don't exactly match as the original parts, then these are gonna be just fine. We did have to print these up a couple times. First time we did it. Um, we printed, I don't exactly know a lot about 3D printing, but I guess this one we printed not 100% fill uh, for this piece and they ended up breaking. So we ended up printing these in 100% fill. Um, the original, this is what the original looks like. So again, if you're a purist, you're not going to like this. But if you just drive a driver... I think it will be just fine. So let's try them out and see if they work. I already took the roll pin out of the original and that's it right there. I was trying to get it in here. I did have to drill this hole a little bit bigger. So I'm just gonna have to punch that out because it was kind of difficult. So the hardest part is getting this lined up in here. So I just punched that out. I just used the socket on the other end of it. Yeah, see, it's pretty tight right there. So I'm going to drill this out a little bit. Let's see if this roll pin goes in now. Yeah, so that fits in there good. We only did this in blue so it comes up better in the video and just to see what it looked like. So I wouldn't recommend doing it in blue, but you could do it in orange if you want. So you get that roll pin in there and you're going to try to push this through. Okay, so the hard part is kind of trying to get this to line up and then hit it on without breaking it. Along the piece of wood. Before I was having trouble, I was trying to hammer it like that at an angle, and that's not easy. But with the little lip right there, just put that on the side of the wood. Try to do this. It's going to be a balancing act. Whoops. It's not the right size. Get some roll pin punches. Ah, well, that one broke. All right, so that one broke. That's too bad. That's... Luckily, I have one more. Hopefully, we can get it in this one. There we go. Give it a couple taps. Sweet, it didn't break. It's almost all the way in. I think that's good enough. I don't think it's gonna fall out, so we're gonna leave it there. Let's go try putting it in the car. The holes don't exactly line up, so I'm just gonna have to elongate the holes a little bit. I'm having a hard time getting the screws in, so the fit is not exact, so. I'll just make the holes a little bigger. Uh, so, moment of truth. Let's give it a try. Wow, it latches. Doesn't look too bad. I think it looks cool in blue. Make them all in blue. And it unlatches. So it does work. It's not broken anymore. That's what the original one looks like. 
Now you can see the original one has cracks. Obviously this car is from 1983, so any of the plastic is, you know, very brittle. Ah, so I'm pretty impressed with that. That's pretty cool. Nice. So like I said, if you're a purist, you're not going to like the way that looks. Um, but I don't mind. And it does work. Now as far as the visors, what we did was we printed one in a material that is kind of rubbery. Because this piece kept breaking on us. So when you go to clip it in, it has a little give. We also printed it in black. You can print those in whatever color you want too. If you're going to print the visor clips, make them in that more uh, rubber type material so that uh, it has a little give. Otherwise, that keeps breaking off. Overall, I think it came out pretty cool. 3D printing is um, pretty neat. Uh, a lot of the printers are getting a lot cheaper, so you can make some cool stuff. It's neat to make automotive parts and stuff. I didn't think it was going to work, but it does. So if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. I do a lot of automotive and mechanical type stuff, Porsche stuff, BMW stuff, and a couple other things. Thanks, guys.